Hello everyone, my name is Laura and you're watching the Beanbird 2 channel where we talk about testimonies and the goodness of God. And today I thought to talk about hearing from God ourselves. Oh, yesterday I was on YouTube and I was watching a video and I was scrolling through the comments of that video and somebody had left a comment saying, why do I have to come to YouTube to hear what God is saying? And they weren't saying this in one of my videos, it was a different channel, but it made me think about that question. Um, people want to hear from God and people do seem to seek out certain people that they feel are, I don't know, hearing from God better than them or something to see like maybe they have a word from the Lord or maybe they are hearing prophetic utterances. And really the thing is that we can hear from God ourselves through his word. And as we walk through the Christian life, we experience that God will talk to us in many different ways um, that he communicates with us and that's part of the relationship. And um, <clears throat> God can talk to anyone as we see that you know God appeared to Paul in the Bible on the road to Damascus and Paul was not a believer at that time but the Lord interceded and he had a, an amazing encounter with the Lord Jesus that day um, and while well, the Bible has a whole bunch of different examples of people hearing from the Lord and various points in their life um, but to consistently hear from the Lord and have that relationship um, you you want to be following his commands and obeying his word and learning and growing and doing the things that are outlined in the Bible now are those things having to be in place 100% in order for God to talk to you? No. I, I think God can talk to anyone. And I think that, I think various points of growth we all go through at different rates. And the Lord will speak to us um, as we go through those different points of growth. Um, when we're a baby Christian new in our faith, God can speak to us. And when we're more mature in our faith, God can speak to us. Um, but there are some things that people try to do to hear from the Lord more often or more clearly. And some of those things might include like fasting, uh, spending time in prayer, um, just being walking in obedient life with the Lord. Um, and so from my own experience, I feel like the best thing is to have that relationship with God where it's growing, it's moving in a direction of, you know, growth and you are engaged with the Lord and that you love him, right? And so we, we are all at different points in our walk. And so you don't have to just be this like mega long time Christian to hear from the Lord is, is kind of the, what I want to say with that. And in the years that I've been a Christian, I've experienced God communicating with me in various ways. And so I kind of numbered them out. I was thinking about all the ways that God has communicated to me in my lifetime. And so I have a list, um, one through seven of different ways that I've heard from the Lord. So starting from the least common way to hear from the Lord, um, not saying it's not possible, but just the least common way is an angelic encounter. Um, if you have ever had one of these, I would say they are typically usually like a one time in a lifetime event, maybe a, a handful at most, but angelic encounters, they're not common, they're rare, and when they happen, they are special and the Lord does use them, but that is not a method that I would, you know, hear from God on a regular basis, nor does I think anybody hear from God on a regular basis through angels. Um, not saying that God can't do that as we see that he did through different Bible characters, but today uh, angel encounters uh, at least in, from my point of view are very very rare um, the next um, least common way um, is the rhema word in your head I've had this a handful of times where I've just had a word like a single word in my head that I knew came from God and it wasn't my own thoughts um, but that is a way that God can speak to a believer is through a rhema word in your in your mind uh, the next way is through dreams. Um, not every dream is from the Lord, and we have to test these things to see if they're from God or not. But 
Um, some dreams are from God, and God does sometimes speak to us through dreams. Um, the next, we're going more frequent, thing would be a message through another believer. Um, that's like somebody who's a Christian who comes to you and says, you know, I really felt like God put on my heart to tell you this, or I, I felt like God put on my heart to take you out to lunch, or um, that type of experience is a little bit more common. And um, a lot of times God will use other believers. And the, the neat thing about this one is it blesses you and the person who delivered the message. And I feel like both people grow in their faith in that situation. Um, the next one is circumstances being arranged in a certain way. Um, I don't know how to make this more specific, but just where you're praying about something and it just happens that something lines up at just the right time that opens a door for an opportunity, I believe that God speaks through those ways um, a little bit more commonly. And then the next thing is um, a Bible story that pops into my head. Like sometimes it'll just be like I'll walk in and I'll just all of a sudden I'll be like, I'll have like a, a Bible story in my mind and I'll be like, I'm going to go look that up when I get home. And God will speak through his word in that way. Um, sometimes it's just through prayer and, and Bible time where you open your Bible and you feel like that piece of the Bible was for you today. And that's a more common way that God speaks to his people. And then finally, I think the most common way that I experience that God speaks is through impressions. Um, when I say impressions, I mean just like a, a sense, I hate to say feeling because I don't want to attach it to an emotion, but um, like a sense of like an impression. I don't know, I keep saying impression, but I feel like that's kind of like where I just kind of have a sense that I feel like something is what God wants me to do or um, something that I, a message that I feel like God wants me to say. And I think that that is probably in line with what other believers would say. Feel free to share what your thoughts are on how God speaks to you. Um, if you've never heard from God before, it's definitely possible. It's not just for special people. You don't have to rely on other believers to hear from the Lord yourself. Um, when I say that, what I mean is you don't need an intermediary, um, a mediator besides Jesus. So you don't need to say like go through your pastor all the time to hear from the Lord. You can hear from the Lord through your pastor, but I don't think you need your pastor to always hear what God is saying because God wants to have a relationship with you and that's just you and Jesus. You don't need a third person in there. Um, now, saying that, I do want to say sometimes other believers can help us interpret something that we feel like the Lord is telling us, and so there's definitely a place there for involving other believers. Um, if you have something you want to pray about and you really need um, to have wisdom, I, you know, you definitely can involve other believers in kind of sharing, like, I think this is what God is telling me, um, but will you pray with me on this, and, and do you have thoughts on this, something else I should consider? Um, so, but you want to definitely, you know, your relationship with God is possible and you can hear from God and he speaks, I listed seven ways, but it, God is not limited to those seven ways. God can do amazing things as we've seen in the Bible, making water come from a rock, you know, like God can do amazing things and he can speak to us in, in any way, but these are just my experiences and when I saw that comment of that person saying, why do I always have to come to YouTube to hear what God is saying? I just really thought that it's important for people to know that they can hear from God and they don't have to rely on other people to give them that message, that you can develop that relationship and train your spiritual eyes and ears to hear from the Lord um, by reading his word and just growing that relationship and through various ways that God works in our life, we grow our faith and we learn more how God relates to us as an individual. And it really is different per, per person. You know, some people have a lot of dreams. I don't have very many dreams. Um, it's rare for me, but some people have them all the time. Um, you know, so I'm not saying that God can't speak to people in dreams all the time, but uh, it just doesn't happen for me. But God does different things for different people. 
And um, yeah, but I would be cautious of people who have these like pages and pages of journal entries of like, thus says the Lord. Um, I'm not saying that God doesn't speak to them that way because I don't know, but I've seen people on YouTube that have like pages and pages and God said, and they're just reading pages and pages of what God said. And, and it's not from the Bible, it's from, you know, some sort of vision or dream that they had. And I would kind of put a red flag on that because I don't know. Um, most of the time, people that I trust that hear from the Lord, they usually get like one word, you know, it'll be like, go or, you know, be at peace or, you know, something kind of simple. But sometimes that one word can be so powerful if it's at the right time from the Lord. Uh, you only need that one word. And I think the reason why it's that way is because um, there is a faith element and God gives us just enough to go put us in the direction that he wants us to be in. And he's not just like talking to us in the way that Moses experienced on Mount Sinai where the Lord was just speaking to him. I mean, that would be wonderful if, if we experienced that, but I don't see that happening today. Uh, but I don't want to limit God, but I would just say that I would exercise caution and wisdom if you're listening to people that have um, prophetic words that are like that. So um, use caution, use wisdom, and then pray to God to show you, you know, God doesn't want you listening to false teachers and you don't want to listen to a false teacher. So just pray to the Lord to reveal who's false and who's true. Um, you know, ask God, is this word from you or is this from my own flesh? Is this uh, pastor serving you or is this pastor serving their own devices? Um, is this prophetic utterance something that you want for me or is this a prophetic utterance that somebody made up? Um, for profit. Um, so I don't know, just want to shed a little bit of light on my thoughts on that hearing from God, because I think everybody wants to hear from God. That's, you know, a Christian, right? We want to hear from God and we want to know how can we hear from God more, you know? Um, so I hope that made sense. I hope that that wasn't too scattered, but I just kind of wanted to give my candid thoughts on that. Um, I had a dentist appointment today, so I'm a little late coming today to talk. Um, it's actually getting dark already. Um, but I got a clean bill of health on my teeth, so thank the Lord for that. And um, so anyway, may the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and I will see you tomorrow.